The way people interact with businesses is about to fundamentally change. Forget downloading apps, visiting websites and filling out forms because OpenAI just opened doors to something truly massive. Over 800 million ChatGPT users can now interact with applications and businesses directly in the chat. And today I'm going to show you exactly how we build this, why it matters for your business and how you can be one of the first to get your product in front of millions. So without wasting any time, let's dive straight in. So a few weeks ago, OpenAI has released their apps inside of ChatGPT and they also released a new apps SDK which allows developers to build those widgets and applications and integrate inside of the chat interface and one line that really stood out to me was apps meet you in the chat and adapt to your context so imagine your product or business showing up to customers when the intent is there when they actually want to make a purchase or book a hotel or book a restaurant so we can start to see the shift from simple chatbots to more interactive experiences embedded within the chat and we don't have the current customer acquisition pipeline of clicking buttons multiple touch points which equals multiple drop-off points and we can go directly from intent to making a sale and purchase which is something very unique so this is why we started to build these kind of applications and integrate them directly within ChatGPT. there's been a few that already you know been integrated and available today like booking.com canva coursera expedia figma spotify and zillow which kind of gives you a brief flavor of what's actually possible. So let's dive in and look at the system infrastructure of how we build the application. Right, so here we've got this spaghetti mess, but I'm gonna do my best to explain everything in simple terms. So we have a few core components. We've got the MTP server, which is the brain, and this has connection to tools. So we've got the get hotel office tool that we initially call, and we also have the hotel booking confirmation that we also call. So two tools inside of the MCP server. We've got the React widget. So this is the interface, the UI, what we see inside of the application. Then we have the user interacting with ChatGPT. So the flow basically goes like this. So we want to message ChatGPT asking for hotels in Dubai. ChatGPT will then look at the available tools and it will call the tool inside of our MCP server that we configured. The tool would then return to the widget. So we have all of the data in a very structured way and a template. So we have a template for how to render the components in the widget, depending on the information. So it's all dynamic. And then the widget will display the hotels to the user inside of ChatGPT's interface. Once the user goes and selects the room, the dates and puts in this information, clicks confirm, that actually goes directly to the widget. So from the widget, we able to call the tool to get the booking confirmation back to the server. So this is a very key point where we're not actually going through ChatGPT in this part and we're just going directly to the MCP server. And this kind of could be a extra security layer if we're passing information that's a bit more sensitive. Once the confirmation happens, we actually return the results to the widget and display that back to the user. And then from the widget, we send a follow up message back to the user telling him that the reservation has been confirmed. So this is kind of high level overview of what's going on in the background. And I just want to quickly touch upon these few important notes here. So the widget initiated call tool doesn't actually go to the model. So it only goes directly to the MCP server. And also we send this follow up message and we need to be very clear when we send a follow-up message because it looks like it came from the user so we need to basically tell ChatGPT to tell the user that the booking's confirmed and here's the reference at the end of the confirmation but if we're a bit more ambiguous and say something like please confirm a hotel the ChatGPT agent might actually trigger unwanted tool call so we need to be very clear with the terminology that we use when we send in the follow-up message back to ChatGPT so with that being said let's go ahead and run the server and set this up so for this I've already set up the MC MCP server. So all we need to do is actually do npm start and this will host our server and it will be running on localhost 8787 slash MCP. And because this is running locally, we need to use ngrok to make it publicly available on the internet so that ChatGPT can talk with it. So for this, we're using ngrok and we're pointing it to the same port. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So once that's running, we get this URL that we want to copy and we want to go inside of ChatGPT and configure the settings for the connectors. So how we do this is if you just open up a new chat window inside of ChatGPT, right at the bottom, you go to settings and under app and connectors, you want to basically scroll down. So here you have all of the apps that are already partnered and working inside of ChatGPT that you can access today. However, we, we want to create our own connector. So we want to go right to the bottom, go to the advanced settings and turn on developer mode. This basically then allows us to create an app. So what we want to do is create this new app. We have to give it a name. I'm going to give it hotel booking wizard. We give it a description. So we want to take the ngrok URL that we copied here and paste it inside of this part 
and then we want to do forward slash MCP because this is the endpoint that we're using. For the sake of the demo, we're not using any authentication, so we can just say no auth and we want to tick this box. And I just quickly added a logo and then we can hit create. We'll give it a few seconds. So now we can see we have our bookings. So we can see we have two different actions, two different tools, the get hotel office tool and also the hotel booking confirmed tool. And that's all we needed to do. So exit out of here. Now we're in developer mode. Everything is set up. We're ready to test out the application. So I'm just going to go ahead and tag our tool, hotel booking wizard. Hi, I want you to go ahead and find me the best hotels in Dubai Marina from the 20th to the 24th December and give me the results. Right, so we can see that it's thinking, looking for available hotels. So if we look at the process here, oh, there we go. Would you look at that? So search for hotels. So every time, because it's a development tool at the moment, we just have to accept when it does any external calls. So it went ahead and did a search. You can see very nice laid out different components and it filtered by the dates so you can see that's why it changed halfway through so it filtered by the dates that i wanted and we have a bunch of different hotels here that we can look at the pictures we can see the rooms that they have so let's go ahead and select a room we can maybe change the date here to the 25th um i want two adults i'm gonna give it a name and a email and then we can go ahead and confirm the booking Give it a few seconds booking is being confirmed so you start to see this seamless interaction with applications and hotels or restaurants or wherever it may be and it's all embedded within the chat and we also get the output from the widget in text format so you're able to go back and forth with ChatGPT, asking it to find the best pick and you know the best for value which one has a gym or a pool inside of the hotel and you can start to do some filtering and getting the ChatGPT agent to basically help you choose the best option so for example if i go ahead and ask it what amenities does the marina grand have and i really like to find a place that has a spa and a pool and a gym so does this specific hotel have all of those so we're going to go ahead and send this you can start to see it actually does as a spa gym you know bottom line this is a perfect choice so you can start to see you can start to go back and forth the ChatGPT agent has access to the returned responses but it doesn't have access to the actual confirmation if there's any you know payment or sensitive information that needs to go back to our back end we can go directly from the widget to the mcp server without going via the open ai agent and you can also see all of the tool calls that happen in our back end in the logs here and just to make sure the application was working properly and if you made it this far you're thinking how you can apply this inside your business so i've put together this chart which goes over the different business applications and opportunities so we spoke about hotels we've shown a demo for the hotels but also like restaurants uh even SaaS platforms you know onboarding workflow inside of ChatGPT. Uh, feature discovery, tutorial support, troubleshooting, or if it's an actual SaaS that provides a service, for example, like Canva, you're able to ask it to actually perform a task. And then within the widget, you're able to get the returned response. For e-commerce, you're able to do product search comparison, visual you know, product cards, you're able to see the product and compare, add to cart, order tracking, all of these things. Real estate, we already have Zillow, but this can also apply to your very own real estate agency. And you also have healthcare, which is a very big one, you know, for appointment check-in, bookings, and appropriate escalations, prescription refills. These are all of the kind of opportunities that could be possible with the ChatGPT applications. I really am very bullish on this, and I believe it's going to be the future of interacting with businesses and applications. And the reality is that most businesses don't even know that this exists or this is even possible. So the first movers, the people that are going to position themselves and start building their applications to integrate with OpenAI, they're going to be in the best position for when the submissions are open to accept applications from OpenAI, which I believe is going to be in the next couple months. So while your competitors are still thinking about chatbots, you can go ahead and directly integrate with OpenAI, showing your product to millions of users. So if you're watching and you want this for your business, go ahead and click the first link in the description and you can book a call no matter what kind of niche or application that you're working in. We will help you design, build and integrate your very own application inside of ChatGPT before your competitors even know it's possible. And if you have any ideas or demos that you'd like to see us build, go ahead and drop them in the comments down below. And if this video helped you understand what's possible, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI builds. We've got some crazy stuff coming up. So with that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next one.